So we have a problem. We we have kind of a big problem. Uh, anyway, before we get into the problem, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back, welcome here if you're new. We're on my island daisy chain today and we're going to be solving the problem. The problem that is, I've nearly run out of inclines and I still need at least four. So that's not working. Let me show you. So here's the map. Here it is, here it is. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight inclines. Now, if we work it out to how I would like to work it out, we still need at least one, two, three, three more inclines, four, four more inclines. We still need at least four. And now if you know Animal Crossing, you know that we can only have a maximum of 10. So what do I do? Right, let me walk you through the issue. We have this terraforming area here right we need to get up on there i guess we could substitute an incline here for a ladder so that might work also over here i was gonna put another incline here but it looks like that is also maybe possibly going to have to be a ladder also while i was building this lovely land bridge on my last video totally forgot that i didn't measure out the fact that i need to have an incline to go down to the campsite we need to figure that out that that needs to be figured out too and also incline number four i will show you where i wanted that incline number four was gonna go over here so b's house is just to the left here and i was gonna like bring this round and then allow you to get up there from down here so this is where we built dotty's house originally and then moved daisy here instead so the idea was to bring this terraforming round and to have an incline go up there but i cannot like i said i only can have two more and i need four <laughs> what do i do i think the best thing here is probably to have an incline here like we we have to have an incline here also i was gonna do another sunken area so that would have been incline number five why don't we have more inclines anyway let's just figure that out as we we go along today i think i definitely need one to go up onto this third tier level and then maybe the other side of it will have a ladder i don't know we'll just see how it goes so we're gonna go up here first and maybe plan out a little bit i think that's what we need to do so i'm probably gonna have to put a ladder to go up onto this level from this side so that's fine i guess that's okay now we do have some more houses left to place i need to move fauna and we also have three more houses left on the beach and we also have molly so yeah molly needs to move by the way that empty plot tad's moving in there right now so that's okay we've got a place for tad he's gonna have that area there molly we need to move we also gotta move bill who needs to be replaced with another villager we also got to move Kyle that needs to be replaced and Antonio. And I'm going to move Fauna because I'm going to put someone else there instead. So my thinking with this is if we move Fauna up here today, that could work. And then we will move the last three villages in that I need to move in. Now I've actually fully decided who I want now. So I am going to be scanning in the amiibos for Bo, Maple and Ellie. I think they're so cute. They're little cottagecore cuties. Now I'm going to put Fauna and Bo together. Maybe we'll do like a, a little pond lake thing going on here and then put them here i think that's what we'll do today i think that's i think that's what we're gonna do so let's get that started let's plan out where we're going to be placing one of the houses at least so i'm thinking a little bit further back maybe we'll have like a beautiful view thing going on over here so if we leave enough space for a fence hang on let me let me plan this out let me plan this out properly right, so let's place down the idea for fauna's house i don't know what i'm gonna do with this yet we will know by the end of the video because the idea is to build this area today so we can only hope that the brain comes up with something genius or something that's gonna work <laughs> we can hope so anyway there goes one of the houses here so this will be maybe faunas bows I, I don't know and then we want to leave enough space between so let's count this how many spaces so one two three four should we go five I think five is nice. At least then we have a middle. I like having a middle. <laughs> this is the only time it's accepted to have an uneven number of squares between anything at all. And that is when you are planning to have a middle. Because obviously if you have six, of course you can find a middle. But in Animal Crossing, it's not going to go in the middle. It, it isn't. It's just not. Okay, so this is where the next villager will go. And this would be kind of a cute little neighborhood, I'm hoping. Like I said, I want to do a pond. Maybe a little pond would be nice. Let's get our water terraforming tool out though and start planning this. So we don't have a huge amount of space and i don't want this pond to just be a circle so if we just plan out by just swinging it <laughs> so no planning i don't want this to look like an even pond i'm just gonna mess around with the shape until i'm happy with how it looks on the map and how it looks you know with eyeballs but we'll we'll see don't know why i said eyeballs <laughs> because you know to see the map you're gonna need to use your eyeballs anyway <laughs> don't worry about me you all know what i'm on about anyway okay so here is our pond it's no specific shape it's just a pond <laughs> 
but hopefully it will look nice when we finish decorating it all. Do you know what? I'm kind of deciding if I want to bring these houses back one now. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go grab a house. We're going to go grab Fauna's house and move that into place. Right. So yeah, we put it back one. Let's have a look first. Make sure we like it there. Okay. Yeah. Cute. I like it. Otherwise, I feel like it would have been too far forward. There's one house. Let me just quickly time travel to the next day. So it's been a couple of in-game days now. I thought, you know, we might as well just go for it if we're going to go for it. And I moved Bo in. <laughs> so yeah, I did a bit of time traveling. Oh, we're five stars. Look at us go. Look at us being five stars. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that flower's not staying there. Anyway, yes. Yeah, so here is Fauna's house and here is Bo's house. Now that we have that sorted, although why does it look like a really angry face on my map? Why does it look so concerned and angry and sad? I'm never gonna unsee that. So now what we want to do is actually decorate this area. So I'm just gonna make it pretty natural, I think. I don't know what to do for these two. I don't know. I was thinking maybe they could have a little farm. I don't know. That might be adorable if they have their own little wheat farm or something. So maybe we'll do that. I think that'd be a nice idea. Anyway, let's get started. I need to go get my cupboard so we can get some items out. Instead, I've decided it's just easier for me to make a ladder. So hopefully it will go here. Oh, it, does, it doesn't go on the angle does it go here okay that's better because i feel like you can see it better you know you don't want to walk past and miss it so there's our little ladder up and then basically let's just let's start with fencing and trees so i'm gonna pop some vertical board fencing along the back here just to do what fencing is supposed to do and fence it off <laughs> i mean i guess i could leave a gap and put a ladder in to red's beach but then that means i have to decorate red's beach and i don't want to <laughs> i don't really like how that looks at the moment but i'm guessing once we put some trees in and stuff it might look a bit better i'm hoping anyway let's let's just hope all right so let's whack a tree oh my gosh i have literally only got cedars in my bag this is an issue <laughs> All right, hang on. I need to get some more trees. Right, we've got a tree there. I want to put some more trees behind here. I'm thinking another cedar since we have loads of those. So I want to put down some dirt. And now I know I don't have any vegetables. So I'm going to have to make sure I go and get those as well. I'm so unprepared today. I really am. Who is that? What is that? Dotty? What are you doing? What is she doing down there? Why are the villagers so random? I'm like, what? why? Why are you walking behind there? There is nothing there, just Cliff. She's gonna get stuck. Oh, wait, no, no, here she comes. Perfect, she got through. Okay, so I'm guessing this will be our little farm. It, it's kind of cute. I kind of like it. We do need the vegetables, like I said. I'll probably get those towards the end, if I'm being honest. Okay, I think our next step should be a path, I feel, because we need to join these houses together. But I also would really like to have a little path that goes around here, maybe. But we're gonna work on the path between these two houses first and join them together. Also, how cute are Bo and Fauna as little neighbors? Like, is that so adorable? or what i love that i love that for them i could just imagine fauna doing some baking and just bringing it over to Bo and him just eating it and loving life because he loves food like i, I could imagine that they'd just be so adorable she likes baking and he likes eating it it's the perfect couple <laughs> okay so there's the pathway for now i don't think i'm gonna go any further than this next to Bo's house just because i don't know what i'm doing that side yet i don't know if i'm gonna put a river i don't know if i'm gonna do some terraforming i don't know but i did make this cute little spot and you know exactly what i'm putting here yes i am i am putting a tree and i'm gonna chop that down and there it goes i love tree stumps i want to get rid of you you need to go i'm sorry flower as pretty as you are you're not for here let's put some stuff down <laughs> That's all we need to do. I did pick out some cute things that I thought might look nice. So we got this windmill, which I think it looks really cute. I don't know if it'll look cuter if it's a bit more further over towards Bo's house. Like that. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I like that a lot. Also, gonna get rid of some of this fencing. Just because I want to put a building here. So I want to make a fake little building. Oh no, is this going to fit? It should do. We'll, we'll soon find out. So we got a storefront. If we push that up. Yeah, see, I'm not going to fit another one in because of the tree that I've placed. But let me see if I like it with just two. If I do, then perfect. Okay, that looks kind of cute with just two. I don't mind it. I think I'm going to leave this gap still though. Because I think I could put something else in here. Actually, maybe another storefront wouldn't look too bad. Let's try it. All right, let's push you over. That kind of looks cute. I kind of like it. Okay, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it like that. 
So I've come back with some simple wooden fencing because I'm just going to put it along here like this and then here like this just so you can just cut through the middle. So you can only get through here, which I think is kind of cute. I kind of like that. There we go. We got the planks leading into the little farm area and then now we can start decorating here. Why did I not bring a hay bed with me? Okay, I'm going to have to go get a hay bed in a second. But for now, we're going to do some decorating around this area. Actually, let me let me sort this bit out behind Bo's house. So we want to add a tree. And then we're going to add another tree. You know, just so we've got some height around the house. You're not necessarily going to walk behind here. So that's fine. Okay, cute. I like that. Like I said, I'm going to need a hay bed. I kind of want to put a hay bed right here. And we're not going to fill this up with too many veggies. I think it would look nice with just a few rather than just a huge veg filled. So we're just going to put some more stuff down. Oh, <laughs> apparently there. Apparently that's where the wheat field want to go. All right, I've got some crates. Let's see what the crates look like. The wooden boxes rather. I don't know why I call them crates. I don't know if I like that. I'm not sure yet let me put some more stuff down and see where we are with it oh actually it looks kind of cute with that in front of it doesn't it i think i don't know <laughs> i don't know like i said i don't want to put too many veggies down but then i don't want to have no room for any vegetables so we might have to like change this around as we go but we'll see. Maybe a barrel. I don't know if this is going to be too much. I don't like how in line everything is. Let me just rearrange it a little bit. So if we move you out like this. Like that. And then put the milk can back. Do a little spin. There we go. I mean, I think that looks better. I, th I think it looks better than what it did. So now we have to work on this little bit here. Now, I've got to keep this kind of clear. Because I've obviously popped the ladder here. So if we put down some custom code. Then at least I might remember. And I say might. I might remember not to put anything here on this. Otherwise, I've blocked I've blocked it and the ladder is pointless. Okay, that kind of works. I also have got another customized truck. Kind of want to stick that like this. So push it over as much as possible. And then I want to stick some cardboard boxes and some vegetable things in there. So maybe Fauna does the packing and, you know, Bo helps with the farming. Yeah, that's the story here. <laughs> that's the story. They're both cute little farmers. I know for Maple, when I move her in, I'm definitely going to be doing a beehive area. So an apiary, just because I feel like that's a staple for Maple. If you're not giving her somewhere for bees and honey, what are you doing? <laughs> Actually, did I give her that on my island, honeybee? Because I know i had her on honeybee i don't remember you know okay this is kind of cute it's it's kind of coming out okay i like it we need some more custom codes we need a lot more of everything to be honest there you go you can't be a really big daisy i'm gonna need to go and grab some more flowers and bushes in a minute from my beach so i'll grab those in a second i'm just kind of planning out what i want to do so we've got this big space here now i know i'm gonna put boxes on here but i feel like i have to put something on the floor as well so we're gonna go with some custom code some good old custom custom bricks they always work out perfectly and then this kind of makes it look a little bit more older as well i guess i don't know i'm guessing it does i just like it i just think this looks nice it kind of leads up to here obviously it looks a bit strange at the moment we're gonna put a leaf file here and some boxes here and hopefully all will be okay you can get through here which is the best thing <laughs> i was worried then that you'd have to like sneak on through like wiggle through but you don't okay i have gathered a few boxes so we got the cardboard bed that should go nicely there i don't want to block this bit off i want to be able to walk through here easily so we got to be careful with what we do here maybe move this forward so i can get the bigger boxes behind because i did pick up a stack of boxes there you go pile of cardboard boxes let's see how that looks oh i don't know if it's too much next to fauna's house actually no i kind of like it it's kind of cute maybe i don't know we'll see as we go along right at the wooden box and then add the vegetables on top i don't know i think i like it i do have these pickled veggies as well will they go on top they will go on top of that oh okay this kind of looks cuter now i kind of like this then we're gonna get rid of this awkward little piece here this bit of pathing that i'm not keen on the join look at that see see leaf piles <laughs> When in doubt, a leaf pile is perfect. Now, can we put a custom code here, though? Am I going to have to pick my leaf pile up? Yep, I'm going to have to pick my leaf pile up. Why is it like this? <laughs> right, let's see if it's going to go back down in the same place that I had it. No, it didn't. Oh my gosh, this is why. <laughs> This is why I wanted it to stay where it was. Okay, I think that's pretty much where it was. It's fine. It looks nice. Now, we do have this awkward space here as well, but I don't think it's going to let me put a leaf pile here, but we're going to try. Oh, it did. Does this look too much? It's fine. It's not too much. 
It's never too much at all. Leaf piles can never be too much. Now that we have our little truck area, which looks oh so cute. I needed to add something here. We need a little bit of height. So I'm thinking mush lamp. Let's try the mush lamp. Okay, cute. Like that. It looks a little bit, a little bit odd. A little bit, I don't know. <laughs> I think I like it, but it's okay. It looks fine. Okay, so I just want to fill out these little areas in front of the pond. I guess you'd call it a pond. I just want to fill them with, you know, some flowers and things like that. I don't want to put too much here because I know I'm going to get to the point soon where my island just wants to lag. I have used quite a few custom codes and quite a few of everything, in fact. So no doubt this island will lag by the time I'm done. All right, so yeah, so we want to bring a pathway around here so that you can stop and enjoy the view. I guess. I'm just going to try it out, I guess. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with the grass path, if I'm being honest. It's a little bit more subtle. I think I could make it a little bit more prettier going around the river with grass rather than this dirt one. Okay, for now, I'm just going to stop here. And this is what I did. I did kind of like a little wiggly natural pathway around the pond lake. It's a pond, right? Because it's small. And I think it's come out really cute. I quite like it. It's quite nice. But we now need to go around and pop down some flowers and all that good stuff. Also some fencing. I think some nice... Oh no, what was the one I grabbed? Oh yes, log fencing. I think the log fencing will be quite nice because quite subtle fencing like it's not too you know in your face oh i hate that when that happens even dotty was watching me she was like shame on you kicking away the custom code <laughs> why why was she watching it's okay i love dotty dotty's a cute villager i think it's really hard to choose my favorite rabbit villager she's definitely up there she's definitely up there i feel i don't know who my favorite rabbit villager is though i really like sasha but i also really like gabby there's just something about gabby gabby is so cute She's so adorable. Everyone actually, let me know. Who's your favorite rabbit villager? We always go on about villagers. We always go on about favorite villagers. And now we're going to ask you your favorite rabbit. Who is your favorite rabbit? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so I think this is coming out kind of cute. I kind of like this. Like I said, we're not going to go any further than this, I don't think, today. Because I don't know what I'm doing over here yet. Don't have a clue. Let's start working more so on Bo's little area now. Do we want to add some more vegetables here? I think it'd be quite nice, actually. Let's add some more little rows of this dirt. I'm going to add some more over here as well. I do have some more little windmills as well, so I'm tempted to maybe grab another one and put it like a little bit closer so maybe here or something i don't know we'll figure it out in just a second as we go along now i am going a little bit further across to the right side that i was hoping for but it's okay it's fine it's perfectly good okay perfect nice i'm gonna use some more of this fencing what was it called the simple wood fencing in the customization of white we're gonna be using some more of this to fence off all the areas yes we are because you know you have to have a farm fenced off otherwise all the animals eat it and if you're living on an island full of animals, someone's bound to eat it. It's probably going to be Bo. It's his farm anyway. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. Just like that. I kind of think it's cute. Nice, 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 nice. Right, I'm desperate to get these vegetables. I'm going to have to get them in just a second. I'm going to have to go to a treasure island though. Because I don't think I have any vegetables except carrots and potatoes. And I kind of want a bit of everything. Some pumpkins would be nice. Maybe, maybe some tomatoes. I don't know. We'll see what we can get. Right, let's finish decorating though first. Because we've got some space here so i'm thinking some flowers flowers always add a nice bit of color so does a custom card <laughs> So, so do custom codes on the floor. They're perfect. Right. When in doubt, put a custom code down. There we go. And a cookie, because why not? We also have to do some sort of pathway here. I realized this. Maybe if we pick this up and then do some grass path, this might look nice. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't like to use just the same path everywhere. So, oh no, I don't like, I don't like those like that. Maybe we'll use this square plank that I have. You know which one I mean. This one, where is it? This one. I just call it square plank because it is. It's a plank. Like, which is in the shape of a square, right? Anyway, <laughs> let's carry on. Let's see. Oh, I'm desperate to go get these veggies. It's okay. Wait a second. You can go get them in a minute. Go get some other stuff. I love how I just tell myself what to do. I love how I tell my own character what to do, even though I'm in control of what she does. <laughs> I filled my pockets up with stuff, so hopefully we've got enough to decorate bows that wear it. If not, we're going to have to get some more. <laughs> get some more stuff it's all good right so i did pick up another windmill um it is where are you windmill so the windmill is there which looks quite nice i don't know if it's gonna go any closer no see it's not gonna go any closer that bugs me nor any closer there does that look okay does it look strange 
Oh no, I kind of think it's cute. It's kind of nice. Oh, unless if we stick it here instead, it might look nice. Or oh, this might be too big. Are you too big here? Oh yeah, it kind of takes the corner of this off. Unless, 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 unless we get rid of this one. And then maybe we'll continue a pathway instead. That might look nicer. Yes, 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 yes. I like it. I like the thinking process. Thank you, brain. Right, I need another tree here. I know it's going to be in line and I don't normally like my trees all in a straight line, but it's okay. It's okay. It's just the back of the island. It's fine. Also, another thing I thought I would add is... Oh my gosh, where is it? <laughs> the garden full set. We need a garden full set. Like, where are they supposed to fill up their watering cans? I am going to place down a watering can in a second, but I need to grab one because I didn't grab one. Now, some wheat field. Let's chuck some of that down. Looking nice. Looking good. Right. Also got a butter churn. I've just basically grabbed all the things that I think look really farm-like. <laughs> That's basically what I did. And I think it's coming out great. It's coming out nice. We just need the veggies. Right. Now I did grab some more boxes. We got a stool. I don't think there's going to be room for all this. Honestly, I guess I was feeling a little bit too optimistic with the amount of space I had, but I don't have that much space. I don't. I do have this cute little tiny library that I picked up don't know if it's gonna fit. No, I knew it wasn't gonna fit. Why is the game like this? You know, you let us have these cute little mailboxes, but you don't let the villagers have cute little mailboxes. Why not? I think the villagers would look really cute with their own little mailboxes. Can you imagine them just waking up every morning and they go straight to their mailbox? And they see they got a lovely letter from you or they got some hate mail from you because you don't like them. <laughs> Would that be kind of cute or not? Right, we also have picked up the leaf piles. So I do need to find another spot for that. I don't know if it's going to go around here. I kind of like just leaving this, you know, natural. So we're going to leave that like that, I think. Maybe the leaf pile will look cute here because I'm definitely going to use it because it needs leaf piles. It needs to break up the path a little bit. So where are you, leaf pile? There we go. Now to work on this path that we have here. So I'm just going to go with the dirt path. We're not going to finish it off. We're just going to kind of bring it round a little bit so we know what we're working with space-wise. Okay, that will that will do for now. That's fine. That's perfect. Right. Let's see what else we can do. We have a water pump. I desperately need these veggies. Let me see. I'm going to double check, make sure I don't have any of my storage except carrots. So yeah, I only have potatoes. <laughs> so that's not going to do. I'm going to have to go and grab some more veggies in a bit but i want to continue working with this because i don't want to put all the stuff away that's in my bag to go and pick up some vegetables so where is my okay let's put this no no, no. oh no i didn't mean to do that although although hang on pick this up put a bush in here to fill this area and then what we're gonna do is put down some wood coat we got some wooden slabs yes just like that cute and then where is that greenhouse? Where is it? I forgot I picked that up. That might look quite nice. Pretend it's not full of plants. Pretend it's full of veggies. But I also have a bucket. I know I picked a bucket up. I just got to find it. There we go. Wooden bucket. Oh, that's not the bucket. <laughs> I saw the word wooden and I was just like, yes. Oh, here we go. Bucket. I knew we'd find it. We do have some more like space here. I'm going to pop down one of the boxes I have here, I think. Oh, barrel. We can't go wrong with a barrel. Oh no, we can go wrong with a barrel when it doesn't fit. I really wish we could put stuff closer. Like look at that huge gap. Anyway, while well, I'm just crying inside because I wish we could fill that with something, let's just put more stuff down and try and get it to work. See, that bugs me so much, that gap. Okay, maybe the flower? No, I see, I don't know why it's like this. Please let me push things closer because it's just not fair now. Will the butter churn fill the void of the gap? No, see, you can't even push that close. No, I hate it. <laughs> no, I hate it. I hate it, I hate it. Right, you, windmill, are just a disgrace. You're such a pretty item, but you're just so stubborn. Evilly stubborn. Right, in that case, tree. There we go, I'm happy now. Right, okay, that looks nice. I like it. I don't know what else I picked up. Oh, a cage cart, butter churn, cardboard box. I picked up party lights for some reason. <laughs> I clearly wanted to put them somewhere, but I just don't have the room, you know? I don't think we need them, okay? I'm so sorry to me who picked them up earlier, but we do not need the party fairy lights or the party light archway or the archway of lights, whatever it's called. We don't need it. So no. Anyway, let's carry on. Everything looks so bare. It's so annoying. <laughs> It's because I need the vegetables. I know why it is. I know exactly why it is. It's because I need the veggies to fill out the area. But in my head, I'm like, why are you leaving it like this? Maybe I'll feel better if I go and get the vegetables like right now. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll get the veggies. I'm back. I got some veggies. I decided to just pick up everything. 
pretty much i didn't pick up sugarcane because i don't know i just don't like the way the sugarcane looks sometimes but anyway we got some vegetables we need to plant those by the way it's gonna be a mixed farm like nothing is planned so don't expect any like organization because it's not gonna happen it's not i just want it all scattered everywhere basically i think it just looks a bit more fun it looks a bit more like Bo did it because i feel like he wouldn't really care where he's planting some things maybe i feel like he'd just chuck the seeds down and be done with it bless him because he's lazy and he just wants the end process of being able to eat the food this takes such a long time before i set my dream address i'm probably gonna come back along and pick some of the plants and water the ones that i want to have free on water the ones that i want to have two vegetables on you know just so it looks a bit off and different i don't know but i'm probably gonna come back and do that anyway when i go to set the dream dress which i'm hoping will be soon i'm hoping it's soon i mean if we think about it really how many builds have we got left we're doing fauna and bow today we got tad left we've also got the little place at the front which is probably gonna be ellie and then we got maple left and then we've got molly which isn't isn't many i don't i think that's it i think that's all we have left oh and the campsite and then the little fill-in areas so depending on how i put the rest of the houses who knows how many builds are left i don't know i'm gonna say maybe five which if that's the case if it's five that means we should be done in the next two three weeks which is crazy <laughs> that's absolutely crazy to me who knows it might even be done even sooner than that i don't know i don't know it depends what sort of way i go with everything okay so we've finished planting all the vegetables now that's perfect i'm not gonna bother watering them now like i said i'm just gonna wait till i go to set my dream address and then we'll Worry about that so we're just gonna carry on adding some stuff around so i did pick up a hay bed as well which i think would just be perfect here if it fits it does it's cute it just kind of makes it look a bit more farm like you know gives us a little farm vibes we need will one fit here oh one does fit there oh that's kind of cute okay i like that do you know what this needs so do you know what this build needs desperately a gyroid so let me go get some gyroids i do not have many gyroids left in my storage so i'm gonna have to use them wisely i have one more after these two which i don't know if i'm gonna put both down i think i'm just gonna put the one although one would look really cute in the farm oh no actually a watering can that's what we need let me grab a watering can so yeah we're gonna pop a watering can on here i've gone with just the flimsy watering can because i just like how it looks it's just a little wooden one why is it so cute let's add a shovel in somewhere maybe a shovel here i've gone with the printed design shovel or whatever it was called i just really like it it's just very very cottage core very cutesy and it kind of looks similar to the little shirt under my overalls let's add one more thing i did pick up a cruiser bike i feel like this build needs a cruiser bike i'm just trying to figure out where oh my gosh fauna why is she so beautiful look at her just stood here stop being adorable <laughs> stop being so cute i guess i could put it here even though we're not decorating this section yet you know it doesn't matter it does not it's fine <laughs> that's like you telling myself right but anyway i think that's it i don't think we should put anything else down although i do have one more leaf pile let me let me hold that somewhere so we got this beautiful walkway around here which leads you to fauna's house we got the little farm which i need to fix this all out with the growing of the properness and not making sense in my sentences but it's okay because you all understand me that's why you're here but right we have a little farm here and a little farm here and obviously if any of the crops grow through and they don't look right as in they just not positioned right <laughs> then i will change them but for now i think it looks okay it looks fine for now but yeah there it is we finished this little area for bow and fauna and their houses actually look kind of cute next to each other i like it they're adorable villages with adorable houses and now they have an adorable farm to share now if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe come join the jellybean family have the loveliest of days and i'll see you in my next one goodbye